Elon Musk's Neuralink announcing it received FDA approval for its first in-human clinical trial, meaning that it will be able to test its implant in people's brains. Anjali Kamalani is here with the details. Anj, what do we need to know? Obviously, a massive milestone here for the company. That's right. It is a huge milestone. They're finally, after four uh, guesses and attempts by uh, Mr. Musk, as well as a failed uh, or rather a rejected uh, filing last year, the company is finally able to move forward in its human trials. Now, this is just the first step, as we know. And uh, they did let us know by Twitter, of course, yesterday, uh, saying in a tweet that they have received the approval, which is the first step, and that recruitment has not yet begun for the trial, and they'll be giving out more information later. So this is literally all we know right now about where that stands. Um, we do know that, of course, the company has faced a lot of pushback in the form of regulatory inquiries from the U.S. Department of Agriculture looking into uh, how it how it uh, dealt with the animals that it used for the, the initial you know, animal trials, as well as the Department of Transportation on whether or not they transported properly pathogens uh, with, that were used in uh, monkeys, as well as, the, um, as well as Congress urging for regulators to investigate the, in, the experiments and how quickly they came to be some reports suggesting that it was uh, added additional press, pressure and discomfort for these animals because of the pace at which the company was trying to get to these human trials. So a lot to wait and see on how this moves forward, how many people will be enrolled or, or allowed to be enrolled in the trials and whether or not the company will look to the NIH and the government uh, for assistance with these trials. We know that they have already rejected any uh, additional you know, animal level trial help. So gonna be interesting to see how that, how that pans out. Yeah, Anjali, this this is a fascinating space, and certainly Neuralink, not the only one that's been competing. Of course, we know researchers for years have been testing the potential of implantation in brains, but this is a big step for Neuralink specifically. What's the next step for the company? That's right. And to your point about the competitors, there are a lot, including major uh, medical device company Medtronic. So there are some other players in the space, some that have already gotten to uh, the clinical trial uh, milestone first. So definitely competitive already, especially to the level uh, that uh, Neuralink can you know, feasibly get to right now. I know there have been a lot of promises about being able to uh, make, uh, you know, people, uh, blind people see, help those who are paralyzed uh, move again or, uh, you know, be able to talk by text. So there are different levels at, at which this could potentially get to. But as of right now, the, the most basic one is, is helping with that text portion. And that's what the company is focused on. So as it stands right now, definitely a, 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 more of the short term goal to focus on and making sure that they get to the uh, recruitment phase of that trial. So that's the immediate next step we have to watch out for. Something that we will continue to watch, right, Anj? Thank you.